After learning about addition from the color fairy, Barry and Harry decided to return home. They wanted to leave the land of numbers because they were starting to miss their home. So they went to look for Mr. Froggy to take them home. Look over there, Barry! There's a restaurant! Polly! That's Polly Parrot's face, Barry! This restaurant must be hers! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go in, Harry! Barry and Harry walked into the restaurant. They were surprised to find nobody in it. Well, nobody except for Polly Parrot crying in a corner. Why are you crying, Polly? What's wrong? Yeah, Polly, has someone bullied you? Just tell us and we'll tell him not to bully you anymore. <laughs> it's like this, my friends. I'm about to close my restaurant for today, but there is still so much food left in the kitchen. I just don't know what to do with it. I can't throw it away, can I? Wasting food is a very bad thing to do. Barry and Harry followed Polly Parrot into the kitchen. There was a lot of food on the table. Whoa! There's so much food here! I know! Why don't we keep all this food in the refrigerator? In the refrigerator? But we can't put everything into the refrigerator. How about putting the food in the cupboard, Polly? Ah, I know! I'll put the food in both the refrigerator and the cupboard. I'll put the food that I need for tomorrow in the cupboard. And the food that you need to use for the rest of the week in the refrigerator. Thanks for reminding me, friends. Now, can you help me separate the food? How are we going to do that, Polly? By using subtraction, Harry. We'll subtract the food to separate them. I don't understand, Polly. Can you show us? Look at the ten apples here. I need to use four apples to make apple juice tomorrow. So, we take four away from ten and we have six. Four apples in the cupboard and six in the refrigerator. Four less than ten is six. We can also write this as a number sentence. We use the minus to take away and equals to show the answer. Ah, 10 minus 4 equals 6. Yes, Barry, you are right. How about the three cakes here, Polly? Are you going to sell all of them tomorrow? Hmm, I'm going to sell one cake tomorrow. One less than three is two. You have to keep two cakes in the refrigerator, Polly. That's right, Barry. Three minus one equals two. Do you need these five big bowls of soup for tomorrow, Polly? No, Barry. I just need two big bowls of soup for tomorrow. Two less than five is three. You'll have to keep three big bowls of soup in the refrigerator, Polly. That's right, Harry. 5 minus 2 equals 3. There are 9 plates of jellies here. I only need to sell 4 plates of jellies tomorrow. How many plates of jellies should I keep in the refrigerator, Barry? Well, 4 less than 9 is 5. You need to keep 5 plates of jellies in the refrigerator. Well done, Barry. 9 minus 4 equals 5. There are still some watermelon sandwiches, pies, muffins and mangoes. Are you going to sell all of them tomorrow? Of course not, Harry. I need to sell one big watermelon tomorrow. And I have 10 watermelons here. So, how many should I keep in the refrigerator, Harry? Uh, 
One less than ten is nine. You have to keep nine watermelons in the refrigerator, Polly. Ten minus one equals nine. There are ten pies on the table. I'm going to keep three pies in the cupboard. Well, three less than ten is seven. I'm going to keep seven pies for the week. Ten minus three equals seven. How about the muffins, Polly? How many muffins do you want to sell tomorrow? Can you count how many muffins there are, Harry? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight muffins all together, Polly. Good work, Harry. I am going to keep two muffins in the refrigerator. So, how many will I sell tomorrow, Barry? Two less than eight is six. You'll sell six muffins tomorrow. Eight minus two equals six. I can see mangoes on the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mangoes. How many mangoes are you going to sell tomorrow, Polly? I'm not going to sell any mangoes tomorrow, Barry. But I still need five mangoes to make mango puddings. I am going to sell mango puddings tomorrow. Five less than nine is four. You'll have to keep four mangoes in the refrigerator, Polly. Nine minus five equals four. Am I right, Polly? Yes, both of you are correct. Look, only the sandwiches are left. Well, there are ten sandwiches left on the table. I guess I'll probably sell two sandwiches tomorrow. Only two? Why are you selling so few sandwiches tomorrow, Polly? That's because the rest of the sandwiches are for us. I'm hungry and tired. Aren't you hungry and tired too? Two less than ten is eight. We are going to have eight sandwiches for ourselves. Yahoo! Ten minus two equals eight. Hmm, I can taste those sandwiches now. Well, let's dig in, everyone. Wait, Harry. Let's sing a song before we eat the sandwiches. Minus is the sign we use to subtract. Do you know what it does? Five minus two is three, that's a fact That's what we learned today in class After resting for a while, they continued their journey to look for Mr. Froggy Soon, they reached a pond Mr. Froggy was there, resting nearby. Hello, Barry and Harry. I've been waiting for you. We want to go home, Mr. Froggy. Can you take us home? Of course, Barry. Now, close your eyes and repeat after me. When Barry and Harry opened their eyes, they found themselves back in their home. They jumped around happily and laughed loudly. They felt so happy. Wow! That journey was fantastic, Barry! I learned so much in that journey! 
Yes, that journey was great, Harry. So, do you still remember what we learned before we left the land of numbers? Well, we learned about sub... sub... It's subtraction, Harry. Oh, yes, that's it. Subtraction. Minus is to take away and equals is to show the answer. Hello, friends. Did you enjoy learning subtraction with Polly Parrot? I really enjoyed learning subtraction with her. 4 less than 10 is 6. Polly kept 6 apples in the refrigerator. We can also do it like this. 10 minus 4 equals 6. Then, there were 3 cakes on the table. But Polly wanted to sell 1 cake only. 1 less than 3 is 2. Polly kept 2 cakes in the refrigerator. We can also do it like this. 3 minus 1 equals 2. I remember that there were 5 big bowls of soup. Polly wanted to sell 2 big bowls. 2 less than 5 is 3. Polly kept 3 big bowls of soup in the refrigerator. We can also do it like this. 5 minus 2 equals 3. I remember seeing 9 plates of jellies on the table. Polly wanted to sell 4 plates of jellies. 4 less than 9 is 5. Polly kept 5 plates of jellies in the refrigerator. We can also do it like this. 9 minus 4 equals 5. Polly wanted to sell 1 big watermelon and there were 10 watermelons on the table. 1 less than 10 is 9. Polly kept 9 watermelons in the refrigerator. We can also do it like this. 10 minus 1 equals 9. Hmm, pies! 3 less than 10 is 7. Polly kept 7 pies for the rest of the week. We can also do it like this. 10 minus 3 equals 7. Muffins! There were 8 muffins on the table. Polly wanted to keep 2 muffins in the refrigerator. 2 less than 8 is 6. Polly wanted to sell 6 muffins. We can also do it like this. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Polly wanted to use 5 mangoes to make mango puddings. I remember there were 9 mangoes on the table. 5 less than 9 is 4. Polly kept 4 mangoes in the refrigerator. We can also do it like this. 9 minus 5 equals 4. I can still remember we had sandwiches, Barry. There were 10 sandwiches altogether. You are right, Harry. 2 less than 10 is 8. We can also do it like this. 10 minus 2 equals 8.